I believe at one point somebody got hit in the face with a lantern and it might've been my fault, but um, I can explain. No, I can't. All right, got my tea. Hey, I'm Haley Steinfeld and I am spilling the tea with Cosmo UK. Don't forget to subscribe so you can see more. I often wake up at the 4 a.m. hour to work out, which is so absurd, but um, I can explain. No, I can't. It just is something that I, I do and I've gotten into the rhythm of it and I actually really enjoy it, getting up and getting it out of the way. Sometimes I'll go back to sleep after, which let me tell you, is so great because nobody's been awake yet, work hasn't started. It's a weird thing, but when it's that early and you're not ready to start your day and you go to bed after having worked out, your body is so naturally exhausted that it's like the best sleep ever. So I recommend it. Breathe. <laughs> um, don't take life too seriously and have fun, be kind and take care of yourself. And as easier, as easy as that sounds, uh, and I've learned much easier said than done, learn what that means to take care of yourself because it's very, very important. And, um, you know, if you do it while you're young and you start while you're young, then you're in a good place, but you will be. I mean, wow. I feel like I've learned a lot this last year. It can be hard to realize, uh, that you haven't stopped moving when all you've been doing is moving at a very fast pace. And I think this last year has taught me, to really slow down and and reflect um, and appreciate what I what I have done in my life and in my career especially, but I do think it's easy for anybody if they love what they're doing just to do it and nothing else. But then you forget to sort of take those five to ten minutes for yourself a day even, and it's something as simple as that that can make the world's difference. So um, I try and remind myself to you know slow down when I can or take little breaks when I can, and yeah, be kind and patient to myself. I have a major sweet tooth. It's actually, it's a, it's a problem. So anything <laughs> with sugar is a guilty pleasure. I don't even have a go-to. If there's something around, it becomes the go-to. That's the scary part. <laughs> I'm a huge fan of writing things down and putting things out there. Manifesting is my jam. So if it means, looking at yourself in the mirror, um, repeating affirmations to yourself, finding what it is that you love and what you feel good doing, whether, you know, that's a hobby. I think it goes for, you know, when it, when you wake up in the morning, put on something that makes you feel great. Do you and do it for you. Ooh, it depends. I feel like right now my dream evening plans consist of a night out on the town with like my closest friends uh, because I haven't had that in a minute. But I also love, I'm a big homebody. So I love staying home, lighting candles, putting on some music. I'm not necessarily known for my cooking, but I enjoy it. So cooking something up, you know? Um, and yeah, just being with people that I love. Petticoats, layers and layers of petticoats, a corset, which oftentimes takes two women that feel like they're on opposite ends of the room pulling as tight as it can possibly uh, be pulled. Um, and then these gorgeous dresses uh, go over all of that. And um, there's something about that that just physically and mentally kind of gets me into the role of Emily. In one of our episodes, uh, episode eight to be exact, we have this incredible dance sequence situation. It literally felt like we were making an 1850s music video. Um, I believe at one point somebody got hit in the face with a lantern, but, and it might've been my fault. I think it, I think it was, but it was okay. And it looked amazing and um, I'm really excited about it. And it's probably one of my favorite episodes of the whole season. I watch movies all the time and think, oh my God, that's my dream role, right? But then I watch another one and I think that about that one. I just wanna play, continue to play these strong 
women who have a point of view and, and a place to be, people to see, and something to accomplish, something that challenges me and takes me out of my comfort zone um, and teaches me something new. Thanks for watching. Dickinson season two is on Apple TV+.